I learnt more in the dark times than I have ever done in the light times, you know, like, I don't know, maybe that's why I've battled with that whole dark light thing my whole life, like, I am a light bringer, I like to live the world with this high vibration, but I'm not gonna lie, like, there's something about the dark side that I'm definitely drawn to. So I guess like self-respect, self-worth and self-love was something that I had to, I had no choice but to start having because if I didn't, I would have just fallen off the edge and that would have been the end of me. Like, so it was a kind of like, you have to do this. You have to try this as the last mm -hmm. resort. So it was kind of pushed on me if I didn't have these things, I wouldn't know. Like, if I hadn't gone through half the experiences mm -hmm. I'd gone through, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. When you're pushed down to the very bottom, you have nowhere to go but up. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're a spring and you get pushed down to the bottom of the barrel. Like, there's only going to be so far you can go down until you have to come back up. And I wasn't going to let myself disappear. And I don't want to ever go back there again into that situation mm -hmm. where I don't love myself because like I know we've said it before but like that's all it boils down to is like self-love mm -hmm. and I think it's because we it reflects on like society and the whole pressure of like fitting in things like that and I felt like for a long time I had to fit in a certain way especially with my relationships and things mm -hmm. and I had to be a certain person to make relationships work when actually mm -hmm. I realized I was just sacrificing myself for them and mm -hmm. it's not about that it's about balance for me like having the attention I guess mm -hmm. from uh, artistic people and creatives like Ashley Williams like mm -hmm. she's an incredibly talented person and the fact that she would want me involved in her stuff like it was the confidence boost I guess that I really needed and it's been really good and having kind of that attention with um, magazines and stuff wanting mm -hmm. to um, just get to know about me more yeah. I guess like I find it crazy but very flattering as mm. well like I'm kind of overwhelmed by it but I'm really flattered by yeah. it too. Having someone love you for you is like the most satisfying feeling. Yeah. Do you have an advice for people who are going through this as well? Yeah for sure don't ever give up like stay true to yourself mm. and don't ever let anyone else's opinion take over your own like because I think mm. you know your opinion about yourself is the most important thing. Yeah. For sure. I guess it's finding the things that make you genuinely happy yeah. and not the things that make your ego happy. Like yeah. the material things in life are a necessity sometimes and it's nice to have nice things but you can't just put it all into that. That's not yeah. That's not like what makes you happy. That you need to have like a foundation and you need to have like love like genuine yeah. love like you can't get love off a pair of shoes mm. you can look good in a pair of shoes but you can't get love yeah you know a pair of it's shoes is like not going to love you back yeah of course yeah. it's like it's embellishment you like things it's like tattooing like yeah. for me like i love tattoos i think they look beautiful and i've loved experimenting with tattoos because it just feels good to have them mm. on my body and it's like embellishment it wasn't like an addiction or anything mm. like I just liked it and when I like something I want to embellish on that yeah it's like if I like cats I get like Morpheus like when I got him I got mm. all the like the cat toys because I wanted to embellish on him you know I wanted him mm. to be really happy and I knew it would make him feel good and it's the same with me like all this mm. shit made me feel happy so yeah I'm exactly gonna do just it. follow your joy exactly yeah and if you wake up in the morning and you want to look a certain way, do, do it. it. Don't ever think that you can't do that because someone's yeah. there. You think like, oh wait, but if I run into that guy who works in Sainsbury's who's a little bit peng, he might not like the way I look yeah. because it's a little bit different. It's like, no. That guy in Sainsbury's is going to think you're peng because you have this like amazing energy about yeah. you. And you're going to have way more amazing energy coming out of you if you're sticking to your guns and you're true to yourself.